fundamentals to make sure we have a solid gameplay experience. Um, males are actually a lot easier to model. Mm -hmm. it, it honestly, it, that's just there's just the facts. But oh, oh my a god, it's a, it's a hatchet! It's a hatchet! I want the hatchet! Dude, you just lucked out. Um, oh, it already. We have the auto equip. I forgot about that. Uh, sure, at Cray Zealot says, any Canadian hey, any Canadian team members fight for the pronunciation of Z? So H one Z one. Wait, what? He wants it to be H one Z one instead of H one Z one. Sorry, man. This is America. <laughs> this is H one Z one. Don't they say Z in uh, the UK also? Yes. Okay. Thought so. They you can call. <laughs> I you know this because Paul came Yeah, you can call it H1Z1. We'll call it H1Z1. How about that? Tomato, tomato. But this is a moment right now where I wish we had already uh, we had the uh, head turning, and I can't wait till we get that. Uh, how about this one? At DLA Mpron. <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. Yep. Uh, okay. Said, can we throw a grenade? They broke oh, I thought they were broke for a second. Uh, throw a grenade. Not currently. Not we, currently. I mean, we have yeah. support for that, but I mean, like, grenades are a little, uh, you know, high tech stuff, man. Like, that's. Yeah, you'd have to craft one of those things, or. Uh, no. <laughs> we don't like, want to craft a grenade. One. Well, I mean, like, super rare. If that was something we ever talked about doing. Sure. Like, I mean, it would have to be something so rare that it's not, you know, it's not like. Uh, what? All right. What are you doing, dude? You got to get out of here. Okay, that's not a zombie actually pathing through. That was actually just a server. That was thing. a server. I got yeah. Uh. Guys, we'll be right back. We're just doing something real fast. Back, see. We'll come Har back. Harmless. Um, let's see. There's some questions here about how far will character design go? Says at me myself zombies. Uh, what as is deep it? as deep as we want it to go. Uh, depth is like one oh of god. The, like, the depth is something that we care about a lot. So as deep as we can take it. I can't see anything right now. These are, these are my favorite questions. Do you have an exact date for H1Z1? When it will be out? No. Yes! I'm going to tell it to you right now. Dude, I am so screwed right now. Um, we do not currently, sorry. Okay, here we go. At Kid Digital says, please do not make guns too common. It seems like everyone's going to have a gun. I hope I'm wrong. You are wrong. Right. Um, and <laughs> I'm not saying that to be like, you're wrong. Yes. Oh, that's a good thing. Your hopes your hopes are... Uh, I think he wanted to be wrong. Yeah. I think he said that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, right now, we have some very trigger-happy devs that are item adding them. <laughs> uh -huh. Guns are not super common. Will there be crossbows and normal bows? Nice. Um, we right now have the assets for a bow. Um, I, it do, we don't have assets for crossbow yet. Uh, that'd be really cool to have. I like crossbows. Crossbows are just... Uh, it's something we can do, you know, eventually down the road. Crossbows are just badass, dude. Crossbows are badass. Um, PC or just PS4? Well, actually, it's backwards. It's right now just PC. Yeah, uh, but we are Sony. We are Sony, but that's the one thing that we have confirmed is PC. Uh, Steam early access with date pending. Where is... Yeah, I mean, three or four... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, four to six weeks. Bandage. I need one more scrap cloth. <laughs> I thought someone was complimenting us, and then it was just Steve George. 
Well, Steve George not allowed to compliment us? Yeah, I guess he is. There he goes. All right. all, what a crazy day so far. Yeah, You're an awesome crowd. But I think he was talking to the crowd, actually. But I, think I thought he, it was somebody talking to us. I think he was, too. That's awesome. That totally... Okay, it's it's working. It's, it's a heel over time. Okay. <coughs> and bandages running around. Well... Oh man, it barely moved my health. I blame Paul Carico. Really, that bandage is for curing uh, bleeding effects. Actually, as a matter of fact, bleeding bleeding effects this week. I want to get those in. Jimmy, I'll, when I'll is the it. release date? Um, <laughs> ha- didn't you already ask that question? <laughs> I guess uh, there's people asking. I guess it doesn't hurt to ask, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, it might hurt to ask several times. But, yeah, that's true. Um, there's some. Some wood. This mouse pad dough. How often? How often will yes. the servers <laughs> slash? Oh, oh. Some people wanted to see the first person barricade. First yeah. person barricade placement. Right, oh yeah, we just it. watched you do it earlier. Go ahead, keep asking questions. No, I'm gonna get it. some wood to do it. Yeah, because he was doing it in third person. I want to do it legit. You know what I mean? Like, will the, these. How often will the servers slash loot restart? Um, well, the, the servers s- aren't going to really restart. It's a persistent world. Yeah, we are, we have a dynam- <laughs> dynamic, <laughs> dynamic spawning system. So um, it's not based on restarting servers, and loot can repopulate based on multiple factors. All right, so I have not barricaded yet. This is my first time sitting down with the game so today. So we need some wood planks, which I want to reiterate. This right here is our dev interface. It won't. How many do I need? Uh, a couple. Just two? Uh, well, you pop out two, but you probably want to make a couple barricades. And then if you scroll down further to uh, wooden barricade. Wooden barricade. Okay, so let's make... And right now, this is all fairly easy for us to accomplish so we can get it done within a play session. This is not going to be the speed at which you can, like, pop the stuff exactly. in a game. Um, but let's see. Let's get in a position here. Here we go. Place. Um, so right now you can see, like, I, I can move it around the world. I believe, uh, yeah, scrolling will turn it around. But realistically, once it finds a good snapping point, it's a really easy snap. Um, but like, let's say that I want to grab this. So snap that on there, and we'll show the destructibility of this. Now that I actually found a hatch in the world, um, let's grab a few of these windows. That, I mean, essentially, what we're trying to do here is make sure, like, if I want to board up this house and just hang out and get some things in here to craft uh, temporarily, or try to barricade this up for your play session and bring things back to it, um, maybe hide some things. You can these uh, containers are two way. So if I run up to this stove, for example, like I can take these metal scraps and like hold them there if I need to, barricade this up, and uh, just hope <laughs> someone doesn't come running through. <laughs> and at least boarding up these doors, what it's going to do for me is um, eliminate angles of threat. So I don't have to worry about someone sniping me through the door. They're going to know I'm there, though, but they will have to reveal themselves before they start trying to kill me, uh, which is a lot better than getting sniped out through the window. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that's what it's going to do. People wondering if there's a way to block out annoying people in voice chat. I'm sure there will be new options yes. for people uh, being annoying in voice chat. Uh, at CDL Hama, hey Hama, says, "Will there be an achievement system? I want to earn a Clegg achievement in my Jeep." Ha ha ha! Very funny. I- if anything, like if you ever did something like that, we probably do it out of game. We're not going to pop up. Five thousand yeah. points! Congratulations! <laughs> Would you, you like clicked. to share this on Facebook? And I want to reiterate, we just put that feature in, all those particle effects and everything else today. So pardon the kind of goofiness with that. Um, we we actually good. got so we got a lot done. The <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, this is this is uh, the socketing and everything was done just today, including the assets. Somebody. Right. Here we go, Paul. This is a question for Paul. At Jug a load up says. <laughs> Six to eight shotgun shells plus a pipe plus a cloth equals pipe bomb? Correct, oh. says Paul. <laughs> Correct. There you go. We do we, we do want to be careful <laughs> at like what class of weaponry people can craft, right? Like we don't want to give them the highest class weapons uh, through crafting. We want to make them be able to survive through crafting. He's basically saying that the crafting system is going to be very deep and you're going to be able to do a lot yes. of cool things with it. I have been like I, I've slowly like when I get the free time, I'll jump on and do a little bit more work on the Molotov cocktail because I really like that idea. I really want to do that. I don't know why it's playing that pool. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, look, this guy's giving me things. What's up, Grotman? Is it Grotman, Grotman, or Grootman? I, I've, I've known him for a long time now, and I still. Um, hey, man. Here you go, Jimmy. Will you be having M4s or rifles? Well, M4 is a rifle. I mean, well, that's. Uh, I have a feeling probably <laughs> probably what they're asking is um, 
is are we going to have like single shot rifles and all that stuff? Um, we eventually. We, a big priority of ours is to have high-class weaponry. Um, they will be incredibly rare to find military-esque weapons. Um, yeah. In middle town America, kind of anywhere America, you're going to be finding AR-15s versus an actual fully automatic military spec uh, M16 or M4. Um, yeah, you're going to have you to go... craft a grenade, but you might be able to enhance that grenade with like some duct tape right. and some meat. And throw that, and the zombies run for it. Dude, we actually have that in data right now. Meat yeah. duct tape grenade would so, be amazing. You guys probably can't hear him, but I want to reiterate: this is Paul Carrico standing over here. He was talking about maybe you're not able to craft the grenade, but what you can do with the grenade is um, you take some duct tape that you found and put some meat on it. You're gonna sacrifice that meat that you could have eaten and go throw it. If you're stuck in a, if you're, st dude, I can imagine a situation already. You're starving. You have the ability to cook this meat at your campfire. The zombies have come outside because they heard the fire. Haven't found you yet. And the only you have two choices: you can eat that and survive it a longer, hope someone comes to help, or you craft a meat grenade and throw it outside and blow up the zombies and hope you find more food soon. That's actually what a lot of the crafting is about, too, making trade-offs. Because like yeah, trade-offs are important. Right now, you could drink that, or you could drop some salt in there and make some saline. How does he sound on phones, by the way? Can they hear a little bit of what he's saying? Okay. Um, you can make saline that goes into a first aid kit. Sure. Or you could hold out to find some ground coffee and then brew that with the water to make the water better and give you some energy also. So I think every crafting ingredient will have a variety of uses. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, also I want to point something out too um, that a lot of people have asked about over time is right now you see that we just magically pull out an axe. Um, we do want to do the, once again, uh, what you see is what you get type thing. You want to know what you're running into in the game, right? I mean, you want to know if that guy has a shotgun equipped and ready to be pulled out, so we want to be able to attach that to your back and that sort of thing. And hands up is supposed to lock you to that state also. Right. right? So, so you, you can't, can't just... Like, oh, JK. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can imagine, like, the guy who runs in here to your friends, he's like, hands up. And the second he turns around, you just start being like, all right, man, <laughs> try to get out the door. <laughs> Uh, players are asking that they want to check out more of the crafting. Somebody wants to see the combat knife. Uh, I think he was referring back to when I was making my furnace and then looking for stuff to make the, uh, the combat knife. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, that's not it. Somewhere in that realm. I was going to end up with a bunch of things in my inventory. Oh, it failed. I don't remember what it was. Uh... Let's see. What about kill feed? Will you be able to know who killed you and from what distance? We've discussed that, I think. I mean, we're not going to broadcast all that public it, publicly, I don't think. Um, but, I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't let you know who killed you. Yeah. Still stuff that we need to discuss. And basically. how you died. Um, it should be pretty apparent based on like what happened due to the sounds. We make sure you have the cues to know so if you hear that crack right after you die. Uh, from you know, long range, high caliber bullet. I heard a, I've heard know. a few people ask about uh, wildlife, and a cool one would be a snake. I think that would be a pretty cool wildlife yeah. animal, actually. Like it's trap cool. a snake, or you know, use it. Use it for what? Sick on other things. I don't know. Capture a snake and just let it go Throw in someone's it. house. Extract, extract. This person says, "I'd love catchable snakes to use as a deterrent, traps for enemies, or even extract venom to use on weapons for bonus damage." Wow, that's pretty serious. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Hey, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Grab him. Oh, he's got a combat knife. Oh, he's got a knife. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. He's Chill. Chill, bro. Dude. Chill. Look at all the zombies behind you. He's got snake venom on that thing. Dude. <laughs> he's got snake venom I totally wish venom. I knew the command and the location out there. I could just teleport him to the middle of those. Oh, my gosh. You should tell him to walk away. I, I don't, we don't have a mic to no, game right Just now. follow. Use your body language. Hey. There's zombies. Hey, dude, let's let's go start a brawl. <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. By the way, we still need to add a uh, uh, IK detach for that uh, the hands up state, so you're not just yeah. holding whatever it is in the air. Dude, that is a lot. Dude, come zombies. with me, bro. Here, I wonder. Uh oh. Hey, dude. dude. <laughs> it's easy. You're not fooling them. Dude, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still All generating right. more of a threat than uh, he is because of my movement speed and everything. Still tuning some of the uh, the threat detection on those guys. Oh, punched! Yeah, take it. All right. Oh god. Oh, just keep just running away. Anyway. Do what everybody wants to see. Oh god, I crunched, dude. Dude, I'm almost dead. No, no, I'm not. Wait. 
Yeah, I'm getting there. Do you know how long 24 hours is in H1Z1? How long is our day-night cycle? Anyone wrapped up with their head? I don't remember the exact time. Uh, tuna bolt is the answer, it's but right now yeah. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, it could be four hours. Oh right my now, god, I just to totally forgot want. what I was doing. We could tune it to 24 hours if we really wanted to. Good luck, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, run the house and board up the. I board wish the I had the materials to do so, and I don't want to cheat right now. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying playing. Uh, this is where head turning would come in handy. Yeah, I can't wait which to get that. We will have. I'm so stoked. I see. Ah, Scott, help! Help faster, bro. <laughs> hey, jerk. <laughs> 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 We need. We really do need to turn up the uh, visual sensitivities on these guys. You know what I mean? What was that? Visual sensitivities. We need to turn those up on NPCs. Yeah. Like ASAP. Oh my god! My mouse won't turn around. I told you. Oh, I the same problem. Oh, and that collision, yo. Triple swipe. Uh, once again, there is a zombie to player collision, and I was hoping I would lose him with line of sight. Oh, Scott, <laughs> get him! Get him, Scott! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, man. What happened, Jimmy? The game crashed, man. Oh, what That's what happened. How did Sometimes when you die and you're moving. Yeah, we're tracking down that bug right now. Yeah. Oh, it's dying and moving is what it is? Okay. Well, we got repro steps. First step. First step, deductive reasoning. It's half, half uh, the bug finding. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, we said problem and Tom, Tom comes come running around the corner. What? There are two things, and I kid you not, if you guys ever get a chance to do another tour, tour here at SOE, two things you can say that will magically summon our, uh, our lead code monkey if you say the word, that should be easy, or, uh, <laughs> oh my god, back in gate, uh, say the words, that should be easy, or if you say repro steps. He's like, repro steps? Or you say that should be easy, and he comes with employee motivation device. Oh, my sensitivity got reset. Oh, Sorry, barf. I'm going to make people dizzy, sorry. Apologies. Can you go push a zombie, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I totally forgot about that. Uh, zombie. Are you around the rosy? Question mark? I am around Burgundy? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, dude. I'm over here, bro. Bring it out. Going the wrong way. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> no, dude. I don't think he's pathing correctly. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's actually. Yeah, yeah server, we go. server problem. Every build is a uh, mystery right now. Hey, dude. It's not a push, that's a punch. No, I pushed him. <laughs> He's running away. He's scared of you. Hey, Tom. What? What? Oh, okay. there you go. I saw you push him that time. It also takes stamina, so I have to wait a sec to be able to do it again. There you go. And essentially what it is, gonna put, it's going to pull them out of attack. If you time it right, you can actually make them... Uh, you can interrupt their attack and try to make it out. If you time it wrong, you're just going to push them, get attacked, and then waste your stamina. And I'm dead. Fist fighting a zombie... Really hard to do. Yep. Do bullets have penetration? Um, currently, no. <coughs> you also have to click that really quick. If you click and hold down too long, it'll... This is like that old thing with the troll where it's just like, click here to re redeem your prize. And <laughs> <laughs> you have to click it like this. Because if it drags it all... I, I just have to click it like really hard. Yeah. Just I like it. You still have a shortcut from PS2 where we can just like... Does a slash uh, revive and all that work? It's like all the total. I think it just brings that window open that's already open. Gotcha. So I don't think it would do anything. Burr, 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 burr. Let's train our fists. There you go. All right, let's not do that anymore. <laughs> I see a question in here for Pam. Will there be cannibalism? <laughs> oh, my God. Um... We've <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> uh, so it was really funny, and like, might as well tell a story while we were playing. Yeah. Um, we started doing the company-wide play test, and you know, obviously, like going company-wide, you get all characters in. And that's really what we're going. What the? Someone already did some damage to that fool. <laughs> that <was> a horrible <laughs> sound. I don't know what just happened. Um, so. You get all kinds of people in, and there were a lot of discussions initially, like people still trying to figure out what our goals were with the game, and a lot of it was just like, this needs to be easier and all that. And we see Big Pam- long internal design, uh, internal thread. Internal email thread, and yeah. is a lot of like, make this easier, and I'm like, yeah, this is a hardcore game, and you know people are getting used to this. 
uh, the last person I expected, one of the sweetest people at the company, like bar none, Pam. I'm like, oh, so she, you know, she, she maybe she doesn't understand just yet, or you know, like I, I think it's gonna be like happy, yeah, happy fun off, time. Fires off an email to the chain. I thought it was gonna be like you know Care Bear stuff, and then <laughs> I open it up and it says. Um, hey, just a quick question. If I kill a player, can I cannibalize them? <laughs> I'm like, bam! Holy crap! Like, wow. It was pretty funny. You learn a lot about people when you make yeah. a game like this. One of those things is you can like hear each person opening up the email around you, like laughing as they read it. It was pretty good. Um, that's actually something that we talked about in just early design meetings without implementation. And I was talking about like, what if there was cannibalism, but there was a downside to it? I don't know how many of you guys have seen um, Book of Eli. But there's, you know, the, the guys who end up being cam uh, cannibals and, like, their hands were shaky. That's how you could tell. So maybe that's the downside of eating people. You have some issues with your, uh, with your stamina and other things. But I don't know about cannibalism. We'll see. I doubt it. Hey, look, Z-fighting. You want to look? You want to look to fix it? I'll fix it. Don't worry. All right. I think that's the problem with the double. The well, yeah. Double I mean, like, I, I wouldn't expect these two to actually be like Probably that. a group happening at every plate group that that's placed. Oh, I... <laughs> Wow. Dude, double the loot, man. Don't complain. <laughs> oh, there actually are two of them. Yeah, there's actually two of them. Yay, for performance. Uh, yeah. Free alpha, folks. <laughs> I really like this. This is one of my favorite looking houses. That's a cool house, yeah. Oh, that zombie thing. Oh, my cool God. house, too. Hey, dude. It's like, what? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, got you. Circle straight. I really oh probably gosh. should pull out the... Oh, God. Oh, God. And you got hatch. Man down. <laughs> Tango down. Tango down. Whoa. Who keeps changing the server time? Whoa. Dim trolls, though. Oh, my God. Did someone barricade this in? No, it's a, it's barricaded. We already. can't have this, Clegg. Why haven't you made this available yet? I'm sorry, man. I just got here. All right, that's fair. We really want our buildings to be interable. It's a big focus. Yeah, they will be. I actually just picked a random direction. Oh, and he just fell off. Okay. Oh, there you go. No, it was still a slope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I thought you just ran off a cliff. Did we remove the spawn point that put me on top of the power lines? Because that was my favorite. Oh, that was an awesome one. I think that I think uh, Lenny removed that one. What a jerk. Any chance of left-handed characters? Uh, that could uh, potentially be an option. Well, here's the thing: with, with left-handedness, requires completely different animations. So, like, we have to take the difficulty bang for buck type thing into account here. If it's going to take our animators time to reverse everything and also come to yeah. the realization that some guns are not exactly favorable to fire left hand, we get smacked in the face constantly with brass. Uh, yeah. I think you answered this before, but we'll answer it again for people that are new to the stream. Can you break limbs? So, we've had that discussion, still in the air. I vote. No, I vote that you can have damage to limbs, um, but we'll see. And if we do it, there's got to be some way to solve it fairly easily. So basically, that's uh, going to end up being a community discussion type thing. Uh, we're going to probably get player input. Well, we need to figure it out because, like, once again, anything we do is going to greatly impact gameplay at this point. Like, yeah. we're really building the basics, and I mean, being stuck for four hours on your hands and knees crawling around uh, is that something we want to want to do? I don't know. Someone oh, has a campfire here. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do with campfire right now except have it provide me with light. What's going on, chat? Someone says Brazil? Question mark. VR? Question mark. Brazilians, Brazilians are my favorite. And you think I'm kidding? I'm not at all. How much is a Brazilian? What? Like Brazilian? Oh. I get it? It's a joke. The, <laughs> it's 8.30, folks. <laughs> I've been here since 8.30. Uh, it's a modifier. I really, like, I still want to mess with uh, strafe, strafe mono, I mean, not strafe modifier, uh, sprint modifier. I still think we need to run a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm hearing myself back over here. By the way, guys, um, Sorry, I'm looking at questions. we're going to be worn out, and that's the best time to harass us on Twitter. I'm not even kidding. I say ridiculous things. Dude, I'm um, just going to, yeah. My, why don't you just type our Twitter handles there in, in chat? That way they'll be able to reach us. Follow us. 
Oh, oh. dang it. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> Log in. Um, we'll type it in chat, but I'm at Jimmy Wiz. J I M M Y W H I S. J I M M Y. J I M M Y. Sorry. Clegg's losing it, man. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Mm -hmm. I lost it a long time ago. W H I Z? W H I S. W H I S. Just like my last name. Oh, I can't. One of these days I'm going to learn. It's like a kid when he first touches the stove, he'll never do it again. I'm not the same way because I keep walking near barrels and catching myself on fire. Is there an auto run button that says JK can nail Check this out. Wait a minute. No hands, Ma. Hashtag Jimmy is Idra. Oh my God, what is with this? <laughs> I mean, you know, Greg's a handsome fella. Idra is a handsome fella. So, uh, what about hashtag Jimmy is? Uh, uh, I forgot his name. Oh, by the way, for those of you who are familiar with the hashtag Fire Andre, um, the Breaking Bad kid, we fired him. Hashtag Hire Andre 2015. We need him back. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's still here. <laughs> he's he's actually <laughs> roaming around here somewhere. He's <laughs> gonna say, "Great job, guys! You got him fired." Not really. <laughs> Um, oh, hashtag Jesse Pinkman. That's what I was thinking. Uh, will there be fishing? Um, we keep talking about that, and people are really excited about that. Yeah. And we want fishing. We like the idea of It's definitely of not in the core of what we need for alpha. Sure. I'll just say that. Yeah, I mean, like, we re once again, we're really focused on the basics right now, and a lot of the stuff will come later. Uh, Hi, hashtag Hire Andre 2015. <laughs> Trending worldwide by tomorrow. I need to take a look at um, what may be dealing... Right now we have some weird pathfinding stuff going on with zombies. We've changed a lot on the build today. Someone's like, imagine that you hear that you got fired while you're working in the other room. <laughs> Welcome to Andre's life. <laughs> Andre just found out <laughs> via stream. I was wondering why I haven't got a paycheck in the last three <laughs> months. <laughs> it's like office space. It's like we actually haven't paid him <laughs> three months. He hasn't left yet. What do we got going? What you hmm. You guys are scaring me. What are they talking about? The I don't AP know. Guys are talking about These guys are trolls, man. Go for it, Clegg. Let's do it. Go for it. I want to step out and smoke and watch a stream <laughs> from my phone while I laugh hysterically at whatever's about to troll us. <laughs> Andre set this up from shirts legit. Yeah. Oh.
All right, hope you guys liked that trailer. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was the gameplay video that was unlocked earlier today. And uh, now we're here with Rich Schoberg, particle effects artist and artist extraordinaire, right? Yeah, I've been doing it a while. He's been doing it a while. <laughs> He's wearing a Varen Interactive hat. 